Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. Well, I've been asked to explain uh, the single cycle architecture, the control path, and the data paths for the different instruction types. So um, this is my uh, uh, short uh, presentation on it. What we have here is a very, very simplified diagram of a single cycle architecture. We have program counter up here. We have the arithmetic logic unit here. We have the uh, register memory and the regular instruction memory right here. So what happens whenever we get an R type of instruction, which is similar to an add, and I'll put the add up here, we have a uh, destination register, we have, uh, and the two operand registers. So what we have here is we have one of the operand registers coming in through here, and that's uh, sent to the register memory. The second one operand through here. Now the destination register comes in through 15 through 11 instruction uh, bits 15 through 11 and this mux right here that tells it where to get the destination register in is turned on to 1 and that right register those two are passed through here into the arithmetic logic unit this mux right here is turned to 0 that tells it which source for the second operand and of course the result is computed and sent out through the path right here into this MUX, which is zero, which says uh, take the output of the arithmetic logic unit and send it back to the register. The register write bit is turned on to one, and that completes that cycle. Now for the next instruction, the program counter, the address is sent up here, four is added to it, comes down to this pass, the MUX right here is turned to zero, which means it is not a branch, and it's turned zero here, which means it's not a jump, and the address plus four is sent back to the program counter for the next instruction. That is the R-type instructions. Now the immediate instructions are a little bit different. For the immediate instruction, we get uh, two, uh, uh, two registers. Uh, we have a, a registers here is the read register, but the second register is not one of the operand registers. It's used as the destination register. And that mux right here is turned to zero, telling us that the, this is the right register. The second operand actually comes from the immediate field, which is sent down here, and the 16 bits is extended to 32, and both the first register and the immediate field is sent to the arithmetic logic unit, and that result is sent back to the right register. And the next instruction is calculated the same way. Jump, the easiest instruction of all. <clears throat> here we see the instructions. The 26 bits is sent up here. It's extended to 28 and uh, sent on. The MUX right here is turned 1, indicating that it's a jump, and then the program counter is updated, and then it just branches to that instruction. The last one is a branch instruction. And the branch instructions, similar to a jump instructions, the difference being that the jump instruction just sends an address. The branch instruction is a conditional instruction. And the location of the branch or the place it's going to go to is based upon the program counter plus four, forward or backwards. So here we have two registers coming in. Let's say we're branch on equal. It's going to come in here. Those are going to be sent to the arithmetic logic unit. A subtraction is going to be done. And if they're both equal, a zero will come out of here and this branch will be turned on to 1, and if both are turned on, then this will be turned to 1, and it will take that branch. To calculate the address, the program counter plus 4 is sent on to here, and then the immediate field is sign extended to 32, sign extended meaning it can go either backward or forward, and added to the program counter, and then if the zero result is true, in other words it's equal, that will be sent forward and the program counter will be updated to it. And that is a very, very brief explanation of um, the instructions in a MIPS, a single cycle architecture. 